hello everyone welcome to my channel so in this video i'll explain you like why z shell command not found error comes on your mac os or linux based machine so i have found this error and i have seen on my videos also some people face this issue like z shell command not found error on mac os like while installing mysql or doing any other thing so i am making a separate video on z shell command not found error so in this video you'll find like what's the reason and how you can you know resolve this issue so please follow step by step and through this we can resolve this issue so first of all uh, basically in 2019 mac os released catalina its os and you know after from then you know mac basically switched from bash profile to z shell so how you can first of all your first step should be you need to find out what exactly is your shell so you can check that i'm just going to open terminal first okay so i have opened my terminal so your first step should be you can see on this bar you can see my name and z shell so my default shell is z shell you can confirm the same by opening your terminal and from here only you can confirm which shell environment are you guys using okay so this is the first way you can confirm it okay and second is i'm going to write one command echo dollar shell okay so using this command you can see my default shell is z shell or i'm using z shell environment okay so i'm using z shell environment but if you wanted to switch to bash profile or bash you can also do so but you need to do some configuration so using these step first you need to find out which environment or which profile are you guys using okay so i am using z shell okay so another way you can check what all other shells are there on your system is you can use this command cat space etc slash shells so it will showcases you the list of acceptable shells which are present on your os so there is bash chs dash ksh sh tc sh and z shell but the default one is z shell or what i am using by writing this command echo dollar shell you can verify which default shell has been present on your machine okay so basically there are three environment files or i would say three files through which we can set up our you know environment properties or file okay so i'm going to show you first what all the files through which we can you know set up those things okay so you need to write one command ls space hyphen a so i have z shell environment file what i have used what i am using in my current machine so in this z shell env file i am using to you know configure my paths and exporting all my path be it jdk or mysql or any other path so there are other files also you must have heard about z profile dot z profile and dot z s h rc basically these are the two main startup files that you will be you know most of the time you will be dealing with these yet other files you can also use like what i have using z shell environment file okay so basically z profile file what i am talking about is you can also create using touch dot c profile okay using this you can create or you can directly go to vi space dot z profile and enter so a file will be created and now you can space you can save it using escape colon w key and you need to write some words into it so you can edit it using shift i so you can insert support i want to insert any path so i can do so but i wanted to quit this then escape colon q exclamation also okay so i haven't saved it you know using wq colon so it will not be created okay i have just wanted to show you how you can create z profile also so basically z login and z profile do the same thing basically they set the environment for login shells the only difference between the two is like they just get loaded at different times okay i would basically suggest you to use z profile 
all the times for consistency okay and there is one more file dot z s h r c okay so this one is also you must have seen on most of the internet you know forums and any other website z shell r c you know set say environment for interactive shells basically so it gets loaded after this z profile okay so it is a place like where you set and forget things in this okay so i would suggest you to you know use this z profile if you wanted to choose between the two okay and z shell rc you know it loaded after z file in interactive shell so it will override anything you set in z profile like the path variable so basically it's a good place to define analysis and uh, function if you wanted to do so like if you would like to have both in login and interactive shells okay so you can do in profile and rco okay and z shell environment basically this file what i am using in my current mac os machine basically it's a read first and read every time okay regardless of the shell being you know login interactive or none okay so you can also use this z shell environment basically it's a recommended place to you know set up environment variables z shell environment you know so i still prefer you guys to set up variables in z profile but i am using the this environment file okay so uh, let's start so i'm just going to uh, show you guys how you can install mysql on your mac os machine and if you guys have uh, getting if your guys are getting that error z shell command not found you can also resolve that easily by watching this video step by step okay so let's get started now i'll be opening my web browser you can open any uh, now i'm going to google.com and search for mysql uh, we can go to directly downloads and we need to select community edition okay community downloads and i'll be selecting community server so i'll be providing you the url how you can download the mysql so you can you know pick up that from the video description and directly go to the downloads and so uh, if i have to select the os so you can see there are different os you have to select for linux or windows or mac os so i'm going to download for mac os in which i'm showing you guys and you need to also select your os version so basically there are two os version that is currently showing up so there is one mac os and the other one is okay so there is one arm not the mac os because both are mac os version so the one is arm and the other one is 86 so the difference between two is arm is the basically the latest one apple silicon chip based beat m1 or m2 chip so you and the other one is intel based the earlier mac processors so you can find out which processor or which uh, mac you are using by going to the apple icon on the left hand side of your mac machine about this mac and you can see chip apple m2 so i am using m2 based processor or apple silicon based so i am going to select arm and i am going to download the dmj archive file so no need to log in you can just directly download you need to allow this it will be downloaded in few seconds okay so my file has been downloaded let's go to finder and just double click on this dmg file open the same dot dmg file and i will be clicking on it so it will walk through us through the mysql process and we need to allow it to be installed on our mac os machines now continue we need to accept the terms and condition agree if you want you can also choose the destination means install location but i would prefer to install it on the default location install so it will ask you to enter your password for your mac os machine so you also need to enter and verify a password for your mysql so whenever you guys are going to log in you need to enter your mysql password so i'm going to use a password here next and you need to enter your password so it says like you need to enter a password like root so i'm also going to use the same password root okay and then 
but it says a reasonable password consists of at least eight characters so i'm going to use root one two three four and now finish and i need to again enter the my mac os password press ok now my mac on my mac os the mysql has been installed you need to now close up the window and you can move to bin the .dmg file that you have been downloaded okay so i have installed my mysql you can verify the same by going to your system settings and you can go to below and you can see my mysql has been installed so you need to start this mysql by clicking on this start mysql server and just entering your password not the mysql password which you have set earlier at the installation process time you need to set up uh, enter your mac os machine password not the icloud one also okay so after entering your machine password the mysql server will get started and let me just open terminal again okay so terminal i have already opened so what i am going to do is i am first going to exit this you need to just keep this process very uh, step by step what i am showing you need to just exit this okay so before going to you know configure the mysql first exit this by writing exit closing the terminal just quit from the bar and i'm again going to open the terminal okay so what error that you have are getting like z shell command not found the error the one of the reason for the error is this one like z shell command not found because you have your terminal open and you are setting up all those things at one time so you need to close the terminal and you need to open it again so i'm going to one directory usr local okay i'm going to open this and basically this is the default location where you know mysql has been installed so i'm just going to that directory and i need to go to this mysql and bin so inside bin what i'm doing right click get info and you just need to copy this path close this you can also close this and i'm just going to open okay so this is the default path what i am going to copy paste in my export path okay i have removed bin okay bin is there bin should be there now going back to my okay terminal i'll be opening my environment file so like i have already told you i'm using z shell environment file you can use z profile or zrc but i would suggest you to use z profile or environment file okay so after opening your file like i have like i'm going to show you z shell environment i have already done so i have already set up my path you can see here i'll be copying this path in the video description so you can directly copy and paste this in your z shell environment or profile path the one thing that you need to remember is after saving this you need to just save wq exclamation and close i'm just closing it because i have already set up my path so i've just closed this you need to close this you need to close your terminal so i'm exiting my terminal closing this i'm quitting this from my bar and i'm just also removing this from a dock okay so i'm again opening my terminal and now now you need to go to your mysql and test whether you your mysql is opening up or not so most of the users are uh, get error at this point of time when they you know successfully set up the path but they are getting this z shell command not found error so you whenever they enter this they get that error but i'm not getting that error because i'm you know after each and every step i am exiting that terminal so the most important step is you need to exit that terminal okay root okay i need to enter the correct password okay so you know uh, my mysql has been connected now i need to check some basic commands okay so show databases i have created some 
database is here so i need to select from one of the db use student db and i'm just going to check if i have created any tables or not in this db empty table so in this way you can set up your mysql also and you can resolve your z shell command not found error in mysql you need to follow step by step and you need to first check whether or not you have a z shell profile or not so there are certain steps you need to follow the first one is you need to first check which profile in your mac os machine you are you have okay so i have already told you those commands i'll be writing those commands in video description the next step would be if you have z shell environment sorry if you have z shell profile then you need to check which profile or which property file you have if you don't you can create with both of the commands like by using touch or by using vi or vim and saving it later on you can create z profile or z shell environment or z shell rc after creating those file you need to save those files and you need to exit from your terminal then you need to download mysql install mysql configure this mysql at the same time by choosing your password of your choice and after that installing the mysql you need to go to that mysql installation directory i have already told you what uh, password directory you need to go to i'll be also pasting up the url of that path in the video description next step would be exporting the path in z shell environment or z shell profile file after adding up that path in your profile or env file you need to save that and you need to exit from your terminal this is the most important step okay otherwise you will be getting that error z shell environment command not found after exiting from that terminal you need to close terminal and you need to again open terminal and enter mysql hyphen u space root hyphen p then you will be successfully gets logged in your mysql and you can start your database things so that's it for today guys thank you have a good day if you have any suggestion any comment any space any difficulty do comment on my channel i'll be posting replies and i'll be posting some videos okay so that's it for today guys thank you